Good morning. Uh, I'm Brian Edwards, and this is my wife, Tammy. And uh, we have two children, Dustin and Amanda, uh, one in high school, one in the middle school. Uh, we just recently moved back to uh, this area because that's Tammy's hometown. Uh, moved from Arkansas, originally from Oklahoma, and uh, have joined the church uh, just uh, about a year ago, two years now. And uh, my wife works in the children's ministry, helping the kids, and I help with the FPU classes when they're available. We've been married about 18 years, and Brian was always really passionate about finances and tried to do the best that he could and had some money and savings when we met, which was real impressive. And then uh, he found a ministry that came to our church, and it really changed our lives, and this was in 1997. A part of that was a video class that we went through and during that class I realized that I wanted to help people in this area of finances and so I began to inquire because a part of that class was an individual session that you would sit down with someone and they would help you put a plan together and so after I found out about that I went to several trainings in Arkansas and found out real quickly that they didn't pay anybody to do this it was a volunteer job but I began to volunteer every other weekend, and I would go to churches, meet with families, help them get a plan, revisit them in 60 days, and work that plan. But a part of that process was our own plan. Uh, first time we sat down with someone, I had the first credit card I didn't pay off at the end of the month. Um, and so I, when I looked at our plan the very first time, we thought we were doing fairly well. Uh, but when they laid it out on the table for us, we were 1,800 months short. Part of that was because we didn't account for some unexpected expenses. We didn't account for home maintenance and car maintenance and kids getting sick and Christmas and those things that you don't put on your everyday monthly budget. But when we laid that out to us, I really thought they had something messed up, but I couldn't show them where it was wrong. And so we had to go home and do some evaluations. And part of our class, we made a commitment that uh, we weren't going to go into debt for anything else except for our home and that we were going to stick to our written plan like glue with no exceptions. That didn't mean things didn't happen in our house. Then sometimes we don't have to have emergency budget meetings. But because of those commitments, uh, we now are debt free, um, basically through God's blessings. Not that we've made a lot of money to get out of debt, but just simply working our plan, being diligent to the things we've learned to do, and also making some tough decisions. The first week that we began our new plan, uh, my wife had been up here visiting for a couple of weeks. Um, she came home and I said, okay, it's time to start. So I gave her five envelopes because that was what our plan was laid out to be for our groceries, our gas, our entertainment expenses. We called it Walmart expense because we lived in the home of Walmart country for miscellaneous stuff and um, just our fun money. And uh, she went to the grocery store the first time and probably not with the right attitude, didn't take a calculator. <laughs> of course, I had eaten everything in the house and not been shopping since she had left. And she came home crying and saying this plan's not going to work threw the envelope at me and said, I'm not going to do it. <laughs> and I began to inquire why. She said, well, they made me put my bread back and I had to put this back because I didn't have enough money in the envelope my to buy hamburger. it. My hamburger. <laughs> and so I said, well, what did you buy? Well, after evaluation, we realized we weren't going to starve for two weeks. And uh, <laughs> we've been doing envelopes ever since. Uh, part of the purpose in that, it shows you where your limits are on a daily basis. We know exactly if the kids want to go out and eat, we can ask. Is there money in the entertainment envelope? But three as we go. If not, we stay home and we do something here. So it makes life real simple. Um, it's tough sometimes because you got to say, you know what? I, I have to put that back because I don't have the money for it. Where normally we would just write a check or you would put it on a credit card and you try to figure out how to make up next week. But the problem is you never do make up next week. You always run short and because you don't understand where the limit is and there's no boundaries. So the envelope system has made it very simple for us. It's very similar to what we'll teach in Financial Peace University. Uh, the same principles work, uh, God's principles work. When you live within your means, things are going to be better.